it not only prepares only financial account it go with the cash flow statement who is a sole trader sole trader is a single person he maintain his business equity share equity shareholders are permanent shareholder as a transfer is considered equity share can be transferred from one shareholder to if the share value is rupees 10 issued at rupees 10 it is share at a par Hello everybody, I am Dr. B.S. Subramaniam, Senior Professor in Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Ray College, a Temple of Excellence, Mysore. I am going to hang Corporate Accounting 1. So far we have studied Financial Accounting 1, Financial Accounting 2. In the third semester, you are going to take Corporate Accounting 1. So in that first year, issue of share. Before going for issue of shares of a company, first we want to know what do you mean by corporate accounting? What is corporate accounting is concerned? It is a special branch of accounting which deals with the accounting for companies, preparation of final account, cash flow statement, analysis and interpretation of financial result. It not only prepares only financial account, it goes with the cash flow statement, how much cash received, how much cash paid, analysis and interpretation of financial result. We give only financial result. What is the your capital in the last year? What is the capital of this year? That is a financial result we are going to give. And Accounting for special events like amalgamation. What is amalgamation? When the two companies are there, if there is any competition between the company, what these two companies will do? They are doing the same type of business. They will combine together for one company. Assume that there is one company called A, another company called B, both have doing the same business. So there is a competition among A, among B. What the both the companies will do, the director consulted each other and combined together and formed the C company. The shareholder of the company A, the shareholder of the company becomes B, become the shareholder in the company C, that is your amalgamation. Then absorption. What do you mean by absorption? A strong company will absorb the weak company. The weak company shareholder become the shareholder of the strong company. The absorption means taking over preparation of consolidated balance sheet. With the two companies there, they combine together and prepare one balance sheet that is called consolidated balance sheet. That we are not studied in first year, first year. That is financial accounting one and financial accounting two. Now, corporating accounting is such a way that we have to prepare financial statement, analysis, financial result, and we have to prepare amalgamation, absorption, and preparation of consolidated balance sheet of the two companies. Then, joint stock company, we are now going to deal issue of share of a joint stock company. Before this word, before going to company, this word, before going to company, there is a stock is there. So before going to company, first we have got a sole trader, then we have got a partnership, then we have got a company. We have the three particulars are, one is the sole trader, second is the partnership, next is the company is considered. Who is a sole trader? Sole trader is a single person. He maintain his business, whatever the profit comes, it will go to him. But only thing, no, if he dies, suddenly the particular shop will be closed. No more continuous in business. Then regarding the partnership is there, one sole trader combined with the another sole trader and form an association. That association is called partnership is considered. As far as we are concerned, the minimum is 2, maximum is 20. Now it has been extended to 100. When they are doing the banking business, it is 10. But only thing, you know, when you compare to a sole trader, partnership capital is okay. But here also, it is not continuous in existence. If one of the partner dies, if one of the partner becomes insolvent, if there is any quarrel among the partners, suddenly the partnership will be dissolved, no more existence. Then came, come back to our company is considered. What is company is? A company is an artificial person having corporated legal entity distinct from its members, shareholder, and has a common seal used as a signature. 
So here, company is an artificial person created by law. Company is a artificial person created by law. The engine of the company will move with the law. With the, law. the engine of the company will move with the legal entity. With the en legal entity, we say here the capital of a company is called share capital. Each member is called a share. The capital of a joint stock company is called share capital. Each member is called a share. So, what is company? Company is an artificial person created by law. So, it, it goes only rules and regulation. Only the signature of the company goes with a seal. If we put the seal that represents the company is considered. Then we will go. What is share? What is a share? Share is a part of share capital. Share is a part of share capital. If you go with the form, share is a part of share capital. The capital of a joint stock company has been divided into small units. Each unit is called a share. If we say that, no, these are all the members, the company will issue a prospectus asking the public to become the member. If you want to become the member, you have to pay the money. So that is called a share. Each member is called a shareholder. So what is a share? Share is a part of share capital. The capital of a joint stock company has been divided into number of units. Each unit is called a share. So what is a share? Share is a part of share capital or the capital of a joint stock company has been divided into number of units. Each unit is called a share. So share is a part of share capital. Each members are called shareholders. Then types of share. There are two types of share. One is equity share, one is the preferred, which are the two shares are. One is equity share or ordinary share. Another two is called preference share. Now we are going to explain what is equity share, what are preference shares are. So come back here. If we see this now, equity share. Equity shareholders are permanent shareholder. Their money will be paid by only after liquidation, but they can transfer the share. The equity shareholder or ordinary shareholders are real shareholder. Their money will not be paid by till the company liquidate. Once the company liquidate, we will pay back their capital with the dividend. But only they, they can do, they can transfer the share. If X is a shareholder, he does not want to continue as a shareholder. He can transfer the share to Mr. Y instead of X, Y become the shareholder. But with the consent of the company is considered. Then, preference share. Preference shareholders are temporary shareholder. Their capital will be paid back after a stipulated time with a dividend. They are not the permanent shareholder. They are temporary shareholder. Their money will be paid by with capital, the whatever the capital they paid, we pay back their capital with a dividend after a stipulated time. The time may be two years or three years are considered. Here, only point no, equity shareholders are permanent shareholder. Whereas preferent shareholders are not permanent shareholder, their money will be paid back. Then we have got a difference between the equity share and the preference share. What are the differences? Sir? We'll go one by one. Number one, equity shareholders are permanent shareholder, whereas preference shareholders are temporary shareholder, we say. So what is the first difference? Equity shareholders are permanent shareholders, whereas preference shareholders are temporary shareholders. Now, second difference is equity share can be transferred, whereas preference share cannot be transferred. As a transfer is considered, equity share can be transferred from one shareholder to another shareholder, but preference share cannot be transferred but they will be paid back after a stipulated time. That is the second difference. Third one, equity shareholder have voting rights, whereas preference shareholder do not have voting rights. The most important is the voting right. 
preference shareholder do not have voting right whereas equity shareholder have voting right means equity shareholders have voting right preference shareholder do not have voting right number 4 the rate of dividend is not fixed for, <coughs> for equity shareholder but rate of dividend is fixed for preference shareholder the rate of dividend is not fixed for equity shareholder but rate of dividend is fixed for preference shareholder when you say preference shareholder we write like the 6% preference share 7% preference share 8% preference share what do you mean by 6% is the rate of dividend 7% means that is the rate of dividend regarding the equity shareholders are considered their dividend is not fixed number 5 equity shareholder do not get their capital till liquidation whereas preference shareholder get back their capital with the dividend after stipulated term as equity shareholders are considered their money will be paid back the only at the time of liquidation but they can transfer the share regarding the preference shareholders are considered they get back their capital uh, with the dividend after stipulated time so i think you understand the difference equity shareholders are permanent shareholder preference shareholders are temporary shareholder second difference equity share can be transferred whereas preference share cannot be transferred third difference equity shareholder have voting right preference shareholder do not have voting right the rate of dividend is not fixed for equity shareholder but rate of dividend is fixed for preference shareholder equity shareholder do not get their capital till liquidation whereas preference shareholder will get back their capital with a dividend after stipulated time whereas the equity shareholders are considered they will get back their money only at the time of liquidation regarding preference share they will get back their amount after a stipulated time with dividend then issue of share at different level share can be issued at par at a premium at a discount we say so what the law says company has got a such a power we can issue the share at par at a premium at a discount so we are going to explain what do you mean by at par what do you mean by at premium what do you mean by at discount if we say that issue of share at par same value if the share value is rupees 100 if it is issued at rupees 100 it is called share at par that means if the share value is rupees 100 it is issued at rupees 100 it is called share at a par if the share value is rupees 10 issued at rupees 10 it is share at a par if the share value is rupees 5 issued at rupees 5 it is called share at par then issue of share at a premium means issuing the share more than the face value that is rupees 100 share can be issued at rupees 120 if the real value the face value is 100 if there is a demand from the public it can be issued at rupees 120 how much more 20 the 20 rupees is called premium so this can be done when there is a demand what is your face value 100 it can be issued at 120 with a premium of rupees 20 is considered now issue a uh, discount issue of discount means issuing the share less than the face value if the face value is rupees 100 it is issued at rupees 90 if there is no demand at all if the face value is rupees 100 it can be issued at a lower value 90 it is called share at a discount so what are the three methods are share at par share at a premium share at a discount same face value share at par more than the face value share at a premium less than the face value share at a discount for example if the value of share is 10 it can be issued at rupees 10 it is called share at par if the face value is 10 it is issued at rupees 13 that is called share at a premium if the share value is rupees 10 it is issued at rupees 8 it is called share at a discount so share can be issued in three ways share at a par share at a premium share at a discount now entry for share at a par the entry only goes with allot the first entry leave it up it will go with the second entry 
share allotment account data to share capital account. This entry you have to pass share at a par. What's entry? Share allotment account data to share capital account. Next entry bank account data to share allotment. That can be dealt in the next class. Now issue share at a premium. What's the entry now? Share allotment account data to share capital to share premium. Assume that if the share value is rupees 100, it is issued at rupees 120. We'll fill up this one. Share allotment account data 120 to share capital 100 to share premium 20. Can you understand what is the face value 100 issued at 120? How to pass the entry? Share allotment account data 120 to share capital 100 to share premium 20 rupees. Then we'll go to next one. Issue of share at a discount. So at a discount means less than the face value. Less than the face value. Entry share allotment account data. Discount on issue of shares account data to share capital account. What is the entry? Share allotment account data. Discount on issue of shares account data to share capital account. Assume that if the share value is rupees 100. If the share value is rupees 100, you issued a rupees 90. So, what is the allotment entry? Share allotment account data 90 rupees, discount on issue because difference is 10 rupees. So, what is your face value 100 issued at 90 at a discount of 10. So, how it will go? Share allotment account data 90, discount on issue of shares account data 10, to share capital account, we have got 100. So, it can have got three entries, share at par, share at a premium, share at a discount. So this is the one stage of corporate accounting. I told you what is corporate accounting. You have studied financial accounting one, financial accounting two. Regarding the corporate accounting is considered, it is a big term. It's a big term when you come back to the financial account is considered. Here we are going to prepare not only financial account, we have to prepare cash flow statement, fund, fund flow statement, amalga, we have to calculate amalgamation, absorption and preparation of consolidated balance sheet, consolidated balance sheet. And we have to bring about the difference between equity share and the preferential. Equity shareholders are permanent shareholder, whereas preference shareholder do not have permanent shareholder. There are three entries to be passed when the shares are issued at par, at a premium, at a discount, same face value share at a par, more than the face value share at a premium, less than the face value share at a discount. I think you have come to one stage. In the next class, we'll go with the detail how the money will be collected from the public for a share is considered. Now I have told only at par, at a premium, at a discount. In the next session, we'll go with the journal entry, how the share money will be collected. What I told you know, in a company, each member is called a shareholder. What is a share? Share is a part of share capital. The company issue a prospectus, inviting the public to become the shareholder. Then we go through along with all these entries, detailed entries, how the money will be collected, how it will be uh, allocated, all things will be done in the next chart. Till then, goodbye. Thank you.